Hey everyone, and this is Loon. So I've been receiving some of the questions that asking me, hey Loon, uh, in System IO there's an email campaign workflow. So what are both differences for that? And what are the pros and cons? And how which one is best best for me at the current moment? And which one should I use uh, for the features? Uh, some of you might be lost and feeling frustrated for choosing it. So I'm happy to help you. Uh, that's why this video is created for. And so for me personally, I'm be focusing on just for campaign. And this campaign that the pros you can be actually tracked uh, how many people opened and it's just in the list for that. Okay, at least for each every emails is just just totally good for that. Yeah, you, you can also set delay, and you can see how many emails have been sent out. Okay. However, and this uh, campaign is only able to do that once the people uh, put it on, there's a trigger to put it on. It means that you create a, a lead magnet and then you let people to jump on it and then you create uh, you create uh, this email campaign to link together, right? And so this will be helped you to have a list for that. And also you can create even more and more to unlimited. Right. So if suddenly you want to add on for emails, they say, Loon, currently I have 10, but you want to add 10 in the future, it's totally fine. You can just add it on. So it will directly send to those subscribers for, okay, it will continue to send and send. So it's just depending on the delays and the delays that you set. Right. If you have put it on, okay, let's say uh, the emails currently you set until the number 10. Right, and then number eleven, you just added it today, or uh, and then you put on the delay for two days. So it means after two days, if the emails will already send to uh the subscriber with the tag, with the tag that they put it on, and you tag it them, right? So if it triggers and then send them the emails for, and eventually you can see how many clicks have been, and you can just test it out for that. So for here, if you want to see a test. Out so I can create a test. So just create a test. Uh, test one descriptions, and then with this test, you can start adding in and adding more and more emails. So there are few two ways. You can either visuals or classics. If I just go on classic, is totally fine to say okay. Okay, just you did just put it on email. So it's just very simple. I uh, just put it on uh, test one. And this is the, the campaigns over here. And you can start writing your emails. Okay. And the most important thing is the variable. So the variables, idols, and this will be tracked their names or their emails. Or okay, you want to list that out. Okay, usually we just go for uh, names. Right. And then if you have the IDs, okay, you can put on your the IDs. Okay, through the links that okay, people can sign up through the link. Right. So this will be uh, helpful for you. And once you click on, you're done, you save it, and you can send it even before uh, which email, okay, which email. If the emails will be sent after which email, or you can set up the delay time for that, right? So hope this get you clear on the email campaigns. So for me, I just put it, use myself as this campaign. So if you're talking about workflow, workflow is also part of the, uh, able to help you for testing out triggers of it. However, if you have 10 or 20 emails, so it will be more and more and more, so it will be hard to manage for that. So I will recommend to use for email campaigns and hope it will help. So at the same time, uh, with workflow, you can have more things to play around, right? Let's say a blog page for subscriber, or if you have final for subscribers, where I will just take, take one of it, squeeze page, and then so after people subscribe it, so they will have few actions on there. Okay, you want to let them apply or remove or enroll. So you can just play around with it. Okay, let's say put on add a tag. Okay, add a tag. And then uh what are the decisions you want to make? Okay. Is it email click? So once they have email clicked, so or together or okay, you can put it as the end conditions. You have end conditions. And you put it on if this both happen in the same place to so what they should go next okay 
So one they should go next level is should put it on, you know, okay, we have pack with, okay, we can go for this. And okay, once they click on the emails, the emails if, if there is no click, okay, when I click it, so if yes, okay, what the things that they need to go on? Okay, either they already subscribe to your course, they are subscribed to your membership site, or they will subscribe to another email campaign that you created. Right. So this will be either the conditions happens. In, in workflows, you can be just uh, put it on the conditions. Okay. Uh, it's most likely or the thing yes or no. It is happen through the decision making for that. And yeah, so but I personally if you think that this is too complicated for you, so certainly fine, you don't need to use that. Okay, the best way for you to use it is actually the rules uh to set up the connection with the email campaigns. Right. So you have the email campaigns and then you can set the emails after put it on and it will just run automatically for you as a campaign for that so hope these uh things able to help you if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below i'm happy to do answers for that right and see ya bye